hi my beloveds welcome to my channel if you're new hi i welcome you if you're not what's up what's up what's up um as you guys can see i'm beautiful 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 environment um guys i am so excited to finally do this series okay the goddess series and i am really I don't really actually speak too much about myself. I think I just want to get straight to it. Um, but if you're new to my channel, um, my name is Divine. Or you can call me Divine Water Goddess. Um, I am a child of the goddess. I am a daughter of the goddess and the god. Um, and I am here to awaken and enlighten people to the divine truth of who and what they are and the divine truth of our existence and to rid them of the falsehoods of this program the programs in this world um i am a syrian incarnate if you don't know what that means um it means that i my soul originates from sirius not from planet earth or other realms i know that sounds crazy but it is what it is um and yeah i'm an infinite being more than anything else um that is really here to expand my mind your mind yes let's go without further ado guys um i want to start this video uh with the first goddess that i felt called to speak about and um my mother um the mother of all living things not just my mother your mother too whether you know her or not um the mother of all living things okay um she has many names uh but who are we going to speak about now uh, we're going to take it back to Africa, in the west of Africa, and I'm going to speak about Yemaya, um, or Yemoja. Um, I think I've also seen, I think this word is used more in South America, um, Yemanja. So she is um, the mother, okay, the, the, the mother, the great mother, the goddess of the sea lady of the sea mother of the ocean mother of, of fishes um she's venerated more in west africa although with goddesses um it's a lot deeper than just the name and everything uh if you go to another area in the world you may still receive her but she may be she may have another name uh like for example here in where i am in south africa um she still very much exists but uh she has another name uh called nom kubulwane so yes guys um <laughs> so uh i felt called to do this video actually by her um this was the first goddess mother that i connected to and i feel like i don't know how other people's journeys start uh maybe they connect with others um but she ideally is the first before any other goddess came to this world um you know it's really her who is first um, and I mentioned that she's venerated in the west of Africa uh, Nigeria and um, the around neighboring countries um, I know that she might have other names as well I'm not sure maybe those that are more familiar to that side of the world will know when she came to me she gave me the name Yamaya uh, but I know that in other areas even in South America there's she has different names like Yemoja and Yemanja, um, or Mamiwata as well. Uh, so, yes, my beloved. Um, 
<laughs> um, really, the story of her, according to Yoruba tradition, um, which was the story that came to me as well. Um, she's the mother of the Orishas. There's about 14 Orishas. Um, there's a story about how they came about, that she was raped, and um, then she committed suicide. She jumped into the ocean, and when she was in the ocean, she gave birth to the Orishas, and um, that's how uh, the Orishas came about. Um, I don't know if this is the truth. I'm also not someone who is initiated under Yoruba tradition. Um, so I am really someone who's just spirit led uh, through the messages that I get, you know, directly from her. Um, yes. And um, another profound story about her is that um, religion the first type of religion that was in the world was really um, in honor of her. Um, and how I mentioned in the age of the goddess video, how, you know, there was that switch from patriarchy to matriarchy out of the blue. Um, this is how it kind of happened, you know, um, information from the mother uh, and, and the prophetesses and the pre priestesses was uh, infiltrated was taken stolen they were killed and um you know things were changed from he to she from goddess to god oh god is um so there's just a lot of injustices that were done with the feminine energy um which brought curses and a lot of things that a lot of people don't speak about you know how did we end up in slavery how did we you know how are we why are we living like why are we suffering? You know, um, it's a lot deeper than that. Okay. If you injure the mother, if you injure the source, I don't know who you think you are if you're doing that in the first place. Um, but you're injuring everybody. I'm just giving an example of just a home in the homestead um, where maybe the mother is not okay. If the mother in the homestead is not okay, maybe she's sick or whatever. The whole home is affected. The children will be affected. And if there's a husband, then he'll be affected as, as well. And that is just in general in the homestead. They may not be sick, but they're going to suffer somehow from her being imbalanced. So, <laughs> um, that col collectively has happened. Um, you know, and that's why it's just ushered a lot of other things, women abuse and children abuse and other, and just abuse of nature and just misusing things because we have lost the feminine principle. We, you know, we're following a false doctrine and a false person and a false spirit. So, um, yes, guys, um, that was the message that came to me very strong. And also another message that I also got from the mother is that this planet really was a feminine planet. The masculine energy was created from her. Not what the Bible said, my beloved. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, I did not know that this was going to be debated. <laughs> there might be a part two. On um, Yamaya because really she is the source of my existence. Let me not trip. <laughs> and also, you know, all the other goddesses that I'm going to be sharing with you. So um, I think it is important that we know her first and in depth. <laughs> um, and... Uh, in the other diasporas, uh, as I mentioned, that she might have different names. I mentioned in South Africa, wh what energy, the name you would call for similar energy. Um, um, yes, and also in Kemet, I know that uh, she 
is embodied or represented by Auset. I have mentioned videos about her as well. Um, yes. Um, so, my beloveds, there has been a huge injustice with the feminine principle. It is so evident, you know, even if you look at religion, you know, why is it that women can't talk to God? Why? Aibo, why is it that they're not prophetesses? What, what's going on? You know, so we're really feeding a false doctrine. We're really feeling a, feeding a false doctrine. And in the age that we're in, we don't have time for that bullshit. <laughs> like we don't. So I, I know I'm not usually someone who swears, but it's just irritating when you hear the truth and then you go back and hear falseness, you know, um, or you just go back and you think of the bullshit that you were told, you know, um, <laughs> and it, it, it's a very sad thing, you know, um, most of the time when I do connect with her, um, I don't want to say it's not pleasant. It's a variation of emotions. Um, uh, yes, I think I might do a segment maybe on like um, my own encounters. But this really was just like an introduction. And um, if you don't believe what I'm saying as well, feel free to research Um the name and get more information if you you know you're not like believing what I'm saying maybe other stuff you'll have to dig deeper I don't think you'll find the information easy about the bible and you know the truth to it I had to dig and you know spirit had to guide me as well because um I had to understand when I was reading the bible you know what I'm connecting to not a false spirit you know um to tap into the real truth of that and to really connect with her um, deeper and rid myself of the programs of this world. And I'm hoping that this channel can help others, you know, that are on this journey or, you know, just are are searching for truth, um, connect with it. Um, So I think I will probably do a, part two of Yemaya, um, depending on what more she wants me to speak about, but if not, then the next video that I will speak about will be on Oshun, um, yes, um, as I mentioned, I, it will depend on what I get told to speak about, um, I'm divinely led, it is not me who is this is not my information and these are not my words if you understand what I'm saying I'm, I'm really being led and it is a very sensitive topic as you can see I'm also not like just bah, bah, just you know I, I understand how sensitive this topic is but I also understand that it needs the truth needs to come out anyone who has it in their heart let's speak it so people you know so we can unite Basically, you know, if I'm also holding pieces of the truth and I'm sharing, you know, I hope my soul brother and my soul sister are doing the same thing. We need to unite in this. I'm a Gideon, okay? So I love you and I will see you in the second series, which is on my second mother. Yes, I will reveal her in the video to come.